Welcome to the Peace of Me podcast, the place to find different ways to bring enjoyment, simplicity, happiness, and of course, more peace into your life. Life gets busy, noisy, and at times it's messy. I'm here to help you clean things up and put peace back in its place. Each episode, I'll share tips, ideas, and fresh perspectives to help you live your best life. Hi friends, I'm Lexi Lee. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're not new here, then welcome back. I'm really glad that you'll be joining me for today's discussion. Today we're going to talk about something really difficult, and that's around death and grief. And if you're listening to this episode, chances are that you too have experienced death and grief. And for that loss that you've experienced, I'm so very sorry. It's a very painful experience to go through, and it takes a lot of healing. And how we all heal from that experience is probably going to look a bit different from person to person. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about, you know, trying to find those ways to heal and, you know, trying to find the ways to move on. Now, we can experience death from friends, um, coworkers, family members, whether uh, immediate family members or distant family members, pets. Uh, you know, we really can lose people who are important to us in, in many different places of our life. So I want to offer one piece of information to start this off, which you may have already heard this by now if you're experiencing this, and that is that time heals all wounds. Now, if you've heard this, you might be rolling your eyes because maybe you've already been told this as you're going through this experience, but I can tell you that it's true. And when something, when a wound is so fresh and raw, you don't really see that other side to things. You don't realize that it's, you know, it's going to take time because it's such a painful process that you have to go through. And it does take time to get to the other side of things. So just know that in time, you will still feel pain. It's not going to go away, but you'll be able to handle it a little bit differently. So you'll still experience it. You'll still feel that emptiness, but you'll be in a better place to handle that if it makes sense. Now, another thing I want to talk about when we discuss death is that everybody handles death differently. Um, Death tends to bring a different side out of people. And sometimes it's what we don't expect. And it can kind of throw us through a loop. You know, when somebody is going through a tragedy, they're going through this, you know, expected or unexpected loss, we might see a side of them that can surprise us. For example, if someone loses somebody close to them, we might think, oh my gosh, I know they were super, um, they were uh, very close and that person might go back to work the next day. And you might think, oh my gosh, I can't believe they didn't take some time off. Um, Sometimes people might even try to make light of situations and all of a sudden somebody who's maybe very serious might start to make the situation light by making jokes and that might surprise you you know all of a sudden this person is the jokester because they're trying to make light of the situation people will respond differently because it's not really something that you can practice right because these things happen in life and when they do, they affect us so deeply that we react in ways we don't expect to. So I say this and share this so that you give yourself this grace if you yourself are going through this, and also to show grace and empathy towards others if you're seeing a side to them that you didn't anticipate. This is part of the healing process. This takes time. And you know, the the best thing you can do is either be supportive of those people or allow those people to be supportive of you. And with that process is allowing yourself the time to heal and not expecting or putting that pressure on yourself to try and heal or get over something um, quicker than it needs to happen. Again, you're never going to fully be over. You're never going to fully be over the pain or you're never going to not miss that person. So don't, you know, it depending again, 
every situation is different. Don't put a time constraint on yourself. Don't say, I'm going to allow myself this amount of time and then I'm going to be over it. Now, you're never going to be over it and that's okay. And, and that's the, the human side. You know, that's, the, that's your heart. That's, that's normal. Just don't put that pressure that you might think it's going to take so much time. It may take 10 times longer than you think it's going to take to heal for yourself or for someone else you care about. Um, It might take less time than you think. Either way, allow yourself or allow others the time that they need or you need to process these feelings and really heal from them because it does take time. Another thing that might be helpful as you're going through this process or if you have gone through this process and still experiencing the grief um, is maybe finding a way to honor or remember that person or even a pet in some type of way where it keeps the memory alive. It could be a candle that's lit. It could be a recipe that was a favorite that you continue to make that recipe and share that dish with friends and family. Um, Again, it could be a candle that's lit ever so often on milestone, you know, birthday, on holidays, Uh, music, you know, maybe there's music that's representative of, of someone or something that you lost, you could play the favorite music. Um, There's different things, you know, keeping a picture out of your loved one, you know, keeping a picture on display. And sometimes people feel that they have to remove those items from the home because they're a painful reminder. And they are a painful reminder. But again, that's part of the healing process. When you're ready, and again, you might want to remove those photos immediately. But when you're ready, you might want to take those photos back out of storage and put them back out in your home. And that might be a way, again, of honoring that person or that loved one. So those are just a couple ideas of, of ways to to keep the memory alive. Another thing too is is stories. You know, it's such a great way to uh, laugh and remember the great times are, um, you know, when you remember a story or something that happened, if you experienced uh, something with that person, it might come to mind and you'd love to share that story with somebody. Even clothing, if you have something from that person, whether you uh, wear it or don't wear it, or you gift it to another family member that really might um, appreciate having it, um, or you just keep it, you keep it close to you. Whatever is going to help you with this process, allow that to happen. Allow yourself the time, allow yourself the space. And again, allow that for the others who, if you are, maybe you're somebody who is supporting somebody who is going through a very dark time right now, and is in their process of healing, allowing them that space and time and support because we don't know how long it's going to take to heal. And healing is an ongoing process anyway, but it's going to take quite a bit of time to, you know, maybe say that person's name without getting too emotional or, um, you know, seeing that picture or seeing that piece of clothing You know, they want to be able to live their day-to-day life without that thing, you know, triggering some type of emotional, you know, I don't want to say meltdown because that's a little strong of a word, but that might be what resonates with you. You want something that's not going to bring on the tears. You want something that's not going to make you feel, um, you know, if you're at work and you want to talk about something, you certainly might not want anything that's going to, uh, you know, kind of drag you back into that spot where you're again trying to heal keeping that part that person part of your life but again um but finding a ways for you to be able to move on and to heal and bring some of that peace back into your life so there's nothing wrong with wanting to heal and wanting to feel less of that pain um but it is a process and it does take time So allow yourself that time, be supportive of others who are going through it, allow the support of others to help you going through this, and it will, it will get better. So hang in there. Thank you so much for joining me, and we will talk again soon.
Thanks again for joining me today. If this episode has helped you or can help someone you know, please share it with them. Stay safe and we'll chat again soon.